create a folder, make dash uppercase. You say go install, and then make dash uppercase. Let's just run it on the same file. Oop, never mind. Let's not do that. There, now it's going to run on this file. Index out of range. Interesting. Why did we get that error? Because there's returns? Because there's blank lines. And they don't have this first character, do they? So, that's subtle. So we'll just do it this way. Okay, we'll say if the line is greater than zero, then line equal to upper string zero plus didn't actually say we had to make it two lower so and then we'll just print it. Okay, let's try that. So all I did was make it so that it only runs it if it's greater than zero. There we go. Hey look, capitalized F, capitalized oh didn't do these. Now we discover possibly another interesting thing about our program, right? Because these start with tabs. They don't start with. Mm. And what's the uppercase of a tab? Well, that's just. Program is hard. But we don't have to worry about that because the program didn't say, it said the first character. So that is the first character. So that's okay. Do everybody understand what this is doing? Question about this? Yeah? Uh, why doesn't it crash uh, when it reaches a line? Ah, good point. Uh, so this returns, uh, I'll, I'll draw it. So we have a string. this it's going to yield the empty string. So you can do that. So this, when there's a single character, is the empty string. So that's kind of nice. Are we following that? It's like it moved it to just after the string, which is okay. So if you like, you can think of there being as a nothing. So one of the things we can do with Scanner is, like I said, the default is by, by line. We can change it so that it goes by word instead, okay? So I can say scanner dot, uh, let's go look at the docs. Split. Split sets the split function for the scanner. Okay. It also says it has to be called before scan, that makes sense. And then it says the default split is scan lines. So at the top here, you can see there's a bunch of other scan types. Scan bytes, scan lines, scan runes, scan words. So instead of scanning lines, we can scan words. And we just do that by setting scanner.split buffio.scan words. All right. 
So now our program, instead of going by line, is going by word. So what is that going to do to our program? That's right. So let's see what happens. So I just reinstall. Right. Do you see why I did what I did? Yeah. Because we're doing uh, like print line, so we put every word on it. Which is kind of interesting. We see every word in the file. Notice that it thinks of words as things that aren't spaces, so that's one word. That's surprising, maybe. Um, but it did. It capitalized every word, you know, made main, capital M, so forth, et cetera. Um, I'm pretty sure it's popular as you guys can. I'm still getting all over it. Did you, uh, you recompile? No. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So now we can make a really interesting program, and that's our next problem. And that program is... Thank you. You remember word count? Mm -hmm. We made word count the other day? Mm -hmm. Use word count to count the frequency of words for a large book. Mm -hmm. That's kind of an interesting thing to know, right? So after running the program, you should be able to find out the frequency of a specific word. So here's Moby Dick from Project Gutenberg. You can download a book if you want. Doesn't matter. Just something big, okay? Um, and what we want to be able to do is word dash count, and then give it the you know. Uh, in this case, it's moby 10 btxt which we're even download. We haven't downloaded yet, but we will. And then I want it to show. So that's what we're going to run. It doesn't exist yet. Um, I want it to show, like. I'll show you the code. In Yes, this is scratch. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and start this. So, so we have our word count. And I've kind of written this program, so don't look at it. <laughs> oh no, this is the old one, right? So we have to modify word count that so that instead of taking a string. It's going to take uh, a file. Uh, you could do that. Well, what did we just use? We used a scanner <coughs> that scans words. Okay. So you might want to make this guy take a scanner. Or you can make it take a file name and read the file. Or you can make it take a file, which you'd use a reader, um, and then make a scanner inside of it. You could do all of those things. Uh, and then we'll do the word count. I want it to return something like this. I want to be able to. Uh, invoke it. So maybe find all the the, uh, the usages of the word and, A-N-D, inside of Moby Dick. That's what I want to be able to find out. Okay. That sounds like impossible, right? Well, it's trivial. It's actually an easy program. Okay. So because we have everything we need to do it. Do you want it sorted in ascending or descending order step? Like no, no. I want the number of usages. Right. But if, uh, if we wanted all the words, we don't want all the words. Just one word, like I'm using it here. Okay. I found out the number of cats in the sentence. I want to be able to find out the number of the usage of the word and in Moby Dick. Throw that over a or too. something more interesting, maybe whale, right? Yeah. Yeah. How many times is whale used in Moby Dick? No. 